Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Carpin, PhD in Accounting, and today another video about budget. And our topic today is cash budget. When we talk about cash budget, we have three budgets, and we will combine in only one video: cash collection, cash payment, and combine it. Why combine it? Because we combine collection. And payments. However, to, to do our cash budgets, we need all of our other budgets ready. Rev uh, sales budget, production budget, operating expenses budget, and so on. So we need a lot of budgets here. And we have all of them in our channel, and all of the videos, they are in our video descriptions. Let's go to our Excel file. Here, whoa, let's delete these numbers here and you will be able to can do it together. Yes. So, first of all, let's talk about our cash collections. When we go to our sales budget, we have cash sales and credit sales. And let's consider that these credit sales, they are received one month after the sale. So this, this $1.8 million will be received in February. The credit sales of February will be received in March and so on. And here we are considering that we have no bad damage. So we will receive everything. So let's do here. And let's. Create some formulas here. Our total. Total is the sum from January to December. Let's decrease it a little bit. Yes, better. Uh, and credit sales also here, as well as the total. Or the total, we can use the formula here. So the total here, total of cash collections, is cash sales plus credit sales. And we are considering that this is a new company, so we have no beginning balance. So we will have no credit sales receiving in January because we have no previous December. So cash sales equal, we never copy and paste numbers, so equal cash sales here. February. Equal cash sales of February. And the credit sales, the credit sales here is the credit sales of January, one month before. And here we can, wow, well, the same number is cool. And here we can open paste these numbers until December. And Cool. Here we are. And then we need to receive the credit sales of December because this $1.5 million here, it is from November. This number will be in our balance sheet as accounts receivable. And we also have a video about budget balance sheet that it is in our video description. And by the way, this Excel file, as well as all of our other Excel files, they are free and they are available for download and the link is also in our video description. Payments, direct materials purchase, as, as well as the credit sales, let's consider that our direct materials purchase, we will pay it in the month after our Purchase. So nothing in January. And direct labor, manufacturing overhead, operating expenses, and capital investments. Let's consider everything is on cash. So we will pay them in cash. And dividends. Let's consider a given number here. $250,000 in July and two hundred and fifty dollars in December. Or better, that's two hundred and fifty in June instead of July. And here, let's decrease it a little bit. Our totals 
it goes some from January to December. Let's paste our formulas here. And cash payments, the sum of all of our cash payments here. Oh, and by the way, the collection here, 44. How do we double check if this number is right? This sum from January to December, it must match our 44. Okay? And our payments. So February, let's do our direct materials purchase. Equal uh, total cost of direct materials purchase of direct material number one plus direct materials number two in January. And here, okay, we need to start our cash payments in February. So the easiest way to do that is Let's do our February and then we open base R. We can do it January here, no problem. Cash payments for direct labor. We need to go back to our direct labor budget, total direct labor costs. Manufacturing overhead. We have some trick here. Let's go to our manufacturing overhead budget. Here we have the total manufacturing overhead, 221. Okay? No, it is wrong. Why it is wrong? And this is the most common mistake, by the way. 221. It's right. However, we have depreciation. Depreciation is a non cash expense. So 221 less 10,000 dollars less depreciation and operating expenses exactly the same operating expenses budget 930 less depreciation expense okay and let's consider here that our insurance and property tax we will pay it monthly it is in our scroll so we are not paying it once or twice a year we will pay it monthly okay Another payment, capital investments. Let's go to capital investment, budget, beginning balance, nothing. And here, total new capital investment because we are considering we are paying them in cash. And dividends, nothing here because we will pay only in June and December. So let's copy and paste this number here to February. And now let's copy and paste this number until. December. Okay, and to make it beautiful, let's add a lot of zeros. And here we have our cash payment. So, cash, we only add new info for dividends in cash payment, no new info on cash collection. Everything is on our previous budgets. So we will be working on that. So there is no way to do our cash budget if we don't have our previous budget. How do we know if this 41 is right? We sum it from January to December. From January to December. Okay, it's right. So we have cash collection 44, cash payment 41. So we are good. We will have a positive ending balance here. Uh, what about our combined cash? Beginning cash balance? Nothing, because we have no previous numbers. Common stock? Let's consider here $1 million. We are a new company, so our investors, they are investing $1 million here. And let's create some formulas here. Better. Total beginning cash balance. Our total beginning cash balance is not the sum. It's our beginning cash balance. As well as our ending cash balance is the ending cash balance in December. Okay. 
Everything else is the sum. So sum of common stocks, sum of cash collections, sum of cash payments, and let's stop it here. Cash available is beginning balance plus common stock plus cash collections. Ending cash balance before finance, cash available less cash payments. And we can copy and paste this formula here. Copy this formula here. Copy this formula there. Okay. So let's find our number. So common stock, we have no additional common stock until December. So no new numbers here. Cash collection, we have here on cash collection, January $2.7 million. Go and paste this number until December. Oh, that's bad. Better. So we have our numbers here. Cash payments equal cash payment here for another way to do that is to have only one big uh, cash budget. We have in only one sheet first our beginning balance, uh, common stock, all of our cash collections, all of our cash payments, but it will be a huge one. So we split it in three. So copy and paste here, and we are good. However, we are bad here. Negative ending cash balance in January. Uh, it is the basic of financial accounting. It is impossible to have a negative cash balance. And the policy of this company is we need a minimum cash balance of $50,000. So let's create here our new borrowings. Let's create a formula here. Equal if uh, ending cash balance plus debit repayment plus interest expense. If these numbers here, they are is uh, they are less than fifty thousand dollars. Our number will be uh, negative ending cash balance less a uh, plus, sorry, plus our debit repayments, plus our interest payment, plus fifty thousand dollars. We need a fifty thousand dollars here, and let's double check it if this formula will be right. If it is greater than fifty thousand dollars. It is our number only. So here, 8071. And our ending cash balance will be ending cash balance before finance plus new borrowing, less debit repayment, less interest payments. And here, we have nothing because we have no beginning balance. And this debit repayment here, we are paying in February. And let's consider that our interest will be uh, times 1% interest per month. Okay, very high number, by the way. And let's copy and paste this number here. And we are good to go. New borrowings here. Uh, these numbers here and the total will be here. And let's copy and paste these numbers here. Copy these formulas. Wow, but we were working here. Wow, we have some bad formulas here. Let's double check our formulas. Oh, because here, what is wrong? Because our numbers here, uh, oh, it is not plus. 
it is minus. We are paying this one. Okay, now we are good. Open case here. Oh man, here we are 6058. But remember, cash collection and cash payment is more than three million dollars difference. What is missing here? It is missing our beginning cash balance. We have no beginning cash balance. What is our beginning cash balance? Beginning cash balance in February is the ending cash balance in January and so on. So here equal, here, whoa. Okay, now we have some bad formulas here, 50, 50, 50. Oh, sh the new borrowing is here. That is a mistake. If the number is greater than 50 instead of be 11, it is nothing because we have no new borrowings. We don't need it. Oh, now it's much better. Now we have, uh, we need money first month, second month, third month, and then after that we are we are good to go, okay? And then our ending balance will be $3.7 million, okay? So this is our, uh, our, final, our final numbers, okay? So guys, that's it. Cash balance, it looks like hard, but we only need a good Excel spreadsheet and we are, we are very good to go. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail dot, dot, dot com. Sorry. Subscribe our channel, like our Facebook page, and like our video as well. And have a very nice day. And God bless you.